live from Dixon City, Pennsylvania, Route 6 to be precise. It's yet another boring edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants! Hey everybody, this is what I got to rant about today. Now I might have done this before possibly, but I don't think I ever posted it. What I got to rant about is freaking tip jars. That's right, tip jars. You know, tip jars started out as a little cup, shit like that, and things like Dunkin', and, you know, place, places like that, okay? You noticed over the last, like, couple years, it's gotten bad. I mean, there's tip jars everywhere, because apparently... With the exception of like, you know, waitresses and that, that really rely on their tips because they make shit. They make absolute shit. They make shittier than shit. They make less than shit. They're below shit on their pay scale. All these other people that it is part of their job to do what they're doing for you. And they're getting paid a regular wage. And they expect a tip for doing their job. Hi. Hi. Give me a tip because I decided not to call off today and come in and actually do my job. Everywhere you look now, there's tip jars. It's getting crazy. I mean, it's some of the most strangest places, too. I mean, okay, your ice cream shops, okay. They have tip jars, even though these people, you know, granted, might be making minimum wage. But, uh, you know, they, they have tip jars. Okay, you know what? Sometimes in the ice cream places, they got to be a little creative when they're making your Sunday or something. I understand that. You do a great job. You know, I might throw you something. But then tip jars are starting to appear in other places. For example, look at the Chinese buffets. So not only are you tipping the waitress, you're also tipping the man at the hibachi grill who's getting paid more than the waitress is to make your food. All right, you might say, well, he did a good good job. We'll leave him a tip. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you leave him a tip. He doesn't spin your food or something. Who, who knows? Something like that. Then, you've got uh, tip jars in other really strange places. I, you're starting to see tip jars and things like auto parts stores. Really? You're getting paid. The whole purpose of your job is that you're getting paid to look up a part and going and getting it. You didn't go above and beyond for me. You're doing your job. Or I'm going there and I'm telling you the part number and you're just grabbing it off the shelves in the back. Which technically for some of these parts, they should just have out in the open and you go serve yourself. You know, radiator hoses and shit like that because it's not like you can steal those. They're big. I understand little expensive things, but that stuff, all right, fine. But tip jars? Come on. You're doing the job that you were hired to do. I can't wait to start seeing tip jobs and jars in other weird places. Like, can you imagine getting a, having a tip jar at the bank? Because they properly counted out the $20 bills to you. Here's a tip jar. Leave me a tip because I'm an awesome bank teller. Hell, why don't they just have tips on uh, tip jars on the buses? There you go. You're a great bus driver. Here's a tip. You didn't get anybody killed. Hell, why not even take it one step further? Why not have a tip jar in the emergency room? Maybe then, if you left a big enough tip, you'd actually be taken care of sometime before tomorrow. There you go. That's how you resolve that issue. Put a tip jar in the ERs. Then people actually get taken care of on a timely matter. Hell, why not having a tip jar at the cemetery? Tip the guys who dug the hole. Why not? Hey, you did a great job. Why, that hole looks very rectangular. Great job, buddy. Where's your tip jar? Heck, next thing you know, the Girl Scouts will be walking around with tip jars when they're selling their Girl Scout cookies. Didn't I do a great job trying to get you to buy these $5 box of cookies? Where's my tip? Seriously, people, it's getting a little out of hand here. 
really out of hand. Like I said, everywhere you look now, there's friggin' tip jars. Why don't we just put tip jars on the sides of our cars, and then when we get to a stoplight, you could throw the guy next to you some money because he was kind and courteous and didn't cut you the hell off. Or didn't flip you the finger. Oh, here's a tip. You didn't flip me the bird today. Come on, people. We're getting a little out of hand. And hell, why don't we just put tip, car, tip jars on the outside and the inside of police cruisers? That way, when you get arrested for your DUI... Oh, thank you, officer, for doing such a great job in arresting me because you didn't beat me down and taser me so I could put the video on YouTube. Here's a tip. Getting crazy, people. Getting a little out of hand. Well, then, my friends, are all I have to say about that because I got to find some Velcro to put my tip jar up now. Send me your virtual tips. There you go. So I'll put it to my PayPal account or, or get some Bitcoins or something. There you go. I need a tip jar for these rants. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.